what is ttl value so ttl value is time to live so why we have ttl value ttl value is in ip packets okay whatever technology works on ip they have ttl values normally you will not see it in ethernet frames in layer 2 packets or layer 2 frames you will not see ttl value why we use ttl value to avoid the loop so suppose this is your laptop guys okay whenever you send any packet to google.com so whenever you send any traffic also if it is a web traffic if you do ping anything so there is a router and further in isp networks you also have routers and on the internet also there are many routers so internet is nothing network of networks and you may have thousands of routers so there are so many networks or routers in your network or in internet suppose you want to go google.com and by mistake you type some different ip try to go or try to ping 73.1.1.1 so if this server is not available on internet what will happen router will keep searching where is the packet right so this ttl value actually gives some exp- it's like expiry date okay so if i send ping 73.1 with a ttl value 64 so routers will forward the packet till 64 routers because whenever you send packet the router decrements value by 1 So the first 63, if you forward a further 62, 61, 60, and then reach. So now you can see we can reach to Google.com. But if you try to ping any wrong IP which is not in our network, so we have expiry date of this packet. So once the routers keep searching for this information, if it is not available on internet, once the TTL value zero, the packet will be discarded. So TTL value is to avoid the loops. So if this TTL value is not there, then the whole internet will be loops. Ho so in every packet, whenever you send outside from your network, any IP packet has a TTL value, so that you will not have loop in internet or in your IP networks. Okay. So this is why in Ethernet, let's talk about Ethernet, normal Ethernet. So when we connect the switches, so what happens? Whenever you send any L3 packet, this layer two device will only understand a layer two frame, so it will broadcast. Okay, and whenever it sends information, frame does not have TTL value. So this is why the packet is keep rotating and rotating, and this is why spanning tree protocol developed because we don't have TTL value in Ethernet frame. This is why spanning tree protocol discovered. why we only have ttl in ip packet not in ethernet frame what is solution for spanning tree protocol spanning tree is a by default protocol which is running in devices it will block one port if you have multiple links it will block one port because loop only happens when you have multiple links 